Same for the audio. What's up and welcome back everyone. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Sam Brax and I started this channel not too long ago. My first few videos were, oh, all my videos were about Amazon FBA and how to sell on Amazon. But I'm also learning other ways to sell on Amazon and I've also been sharing that with you guys. So you have the videos where I'm explaining how to do retail arbitrage and you have the videos like my last video where I, where I interviewed someone and that was purely to, for me to benefit and to learn and I shared that with you hopefully someone else will learn as I'm learning anyways two videos ago I talked about retail arbitrage arbitrage and I promised you guys I'd show you how to do it from your house by doing online arbitrage looking for products on websites different websites ordering them to your house and then sending them to Amazon and selling them as I showed you in that video so let's get into it I'm gonna show you my screen right now so what you need is you're gonna need your FBA calculator which is equivalent to the Amazon app that we use in the other video you can use the app as well I'm just gonna show you yeah, the app with my cracked screen so this is my US account I haven't sold anything in the US yet because I live in Canada but I will be selling soon so if you don't want to use the app to scan products from your from your screen from your computer screen which you can you can use the Amazon seller the what's it called the profit FBA profit calculator you can put the product here and then it shows you I'll show you in a bit something else you need is camel 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 that's what it's called don't ask me why and this will show you the price history of a product on Amazon and the ranking history so if you scan a product and it looks very good and then you put it here but then you see that just last week it, it was horrible or for the past month it was horrible and the ranking was horrible but just that day it happened to be good then I wouldn't choose that product to sell because it's just an exception. So let's start. The process is very similar to what we did last time with retail arbitrage in terms of what to look for in products except instead of going to Walmart or Toys R Us you search on their website. People prefer that if they're lazy to go out and, sh and go shopping. I hate shopping so I'd rather do this than go outside and shop but why is shopping or why is going there better because it's easier to visualize to see the products in front of you it's really up to you you have to try both and see which one you prefer so this is Toys R Us US I usually use the Canadian one so I'm more used to that one but it's almost the same I guess if you go here um, yeah go to deals and savings you find coupons useful and clearance. This is what you want to look for. So what we're looking for here is again very much like what we were looking for in the other video. Something small and not heavy because that will eat your profit be it with the uh, FBA fees and something with a big difference in price after the discount. So clearance all and um, where can I? Price. Price. This is something you can't do when you go shopping at the store. You can't look for all the items that are priced between 0 and $20. So this is a big pro if you're comparing this to retail arbitrage. So you look through the, the list, the, the, the products here. So let's say this, it was 34 and it became $9. I open it, I get my app, click on the image ready to scan and I just let me show you can you see it and I just scan it just like that I hope you saw this oh, come back my bad so pulled it up here it is 47,000 in ranking but it costs five dollars on Amazon which makes sense because Dory the movie was a while ago and they're getting rid of this but let me show you how you can find let's do this Amazon you take this control find you see the ranking here and then you take the ASIN 
copy paste that take it to camel 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 search <coughs> and this is the price history it shows you how it was priced if you click on all here it shows you since it was created until now and then the sales rank let's see how it there was a crazy dip So at one point it was 14,000, very good. And then it went to 139,000, very not good. <laughs> and that's because no one's buying it anymore because the movie was a, lot, a while ago. No one cares about Dory anymore. Sorry, Dory. <laughs> and you can see here how it's now $5, but it used to be, what, $18, $19? So this is how you would use Camel, Camel, Camel. So let's keep going. I don't want to do I don't want to waste too much time on looking at products because I showed you guys how to do that before. I just want to show you how to use the websites. So this is the Canadian one. Same thing, deals. So we looked at Toys R Us. Now Walmart. The American one. Go to the all departments, clearance. Again, you can search by types of products. Where is it? <coughs> right here, departments. And even better, you can search by price range. <coughs> Let me just get some water. And we're back. So this is Walmart Canada. It's a bit different. You just have to scroll down and look for clearance. And again, same thing. You can shop by department and by different price ranges. And see how specific it is. This is a huge pro when it comes to uh, doing online arbitrage as opposed to retail arbitrage. So we looked at Toys R Us, we looked at Walmart. You can look at any other store that you can think about. These are the two that I usually use or Canadian Tire if you're in Canada or yeah, I think that's it. Now besides those, you can look at deals websites. Slick Deals is one that I know of and Fat Wallet. Now you need to make sure that when you're looking at these, let me show you. Um, um, yeah, no, not this one. Let's say this one. You want to make sure that the product is not from Amazon, because you're not allowed to buy from Amazon if there's a discount on Amazon and then resell it on Amazon. You can get suspended from that and you can never sell on Amazon again. So when you're looking at deals, make sure that it's not coming from Amazon. So this is a deals website, this is another deals website. Mm, let's try to find something. What? <laughs> Slinky. So I'm gonna scan it. Got it. What is it? $22.99 and it costs $238. What? And there's no Amazon's I mean there's no FBA sellers and Amazon selling, Amazon's not selling it. So I guess that's a good one. Except maybe the ranking isn't that good. Anyways, you get the point. Look at websites from Walmart, Toys R Us, and those stores. Look at deals websites. Get creative, go to eBay, look at uh, products from eBay. In Canada, we have something called Kijiji. Look at that. Uh, Kijiji is the equivalent of um, Craigslist, so look at that as well. And if you have any other ideas, let me know. If I missed anything, let me know. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up so that I know that I should keep doing those videos or stop doing those videos. And please subscribe if you want to see what I do next. And that will be showing you how I'm private labeling a product and selling it in the US while I live in Canada. That will be next week, hopefully. And yeah, see you then.